TVU, welcome to our Eclipse special. I'm your host, Leah Rausch, and we have a totality awesome show for you today. But first, parking fines. Any car parked in the senior or junior lot from now on without the appropriate sticker will be potentially booted and fined up to $45. If a student participates in a sport or activity, they will be unable to continue until the fees are paid. And now, sports. <laughs> Hey CVU, my name is Eva Mazur, and I'm here to talk about the upcoming spring sports season. Trials for baseball, softball, lacrosse, and ultimate frisbee have begun this past week, and we congratulate everyone who makes the team. Track and field practices have begun as well. To all the players who have joined this team, we wish you good luck and hope you have a great season. Yesterday, we got close to 8 inches of snow, and due to the snow, there were numerous games and practices that were sadly canceled. Although that's disappointing, I never thought I'd see snow in April. I personally was glad to have the day off. The Unified Basketball team has started up again, and we wish you well in the upcoming season. Make sure to check your email for merch from their team. Now back to you in the studio, and make sure to tune in Sunday morning at 1 a.m. for the Formula One Grand Prix race in Tokyo. And now we have an exclusive interview with the director of one of the One Acts. You may know him as that guy who sings in the hallways. We have Xander Olzilski. Hey, CVU. I'm here with one of our directors of One Acts, Xander. Hello. So, Xander, you're going to be one of our One Act directors. What show are you directing? I'm going to be directing Antigone Now, which is a contemporary version of Antigone, a Greek tragedy. And it is about Oedipus's daughters, Antigone and Ismene, grappling with a war and their brother's death. That's awesome. And how did you pick this specific show? Well, uh, I have been involved with CVU Theater for a very long time, and I have never seen us do or attempt a Greek tragedy, and so I wanted to take up that challenge to see what happened and see how it went. What's been your favorite part about directing for CVU? Watching and seeing a lot of actors grow in ways that they would have never had the opportunity to before, and just getting to experience and work with these wonderful and beautiful people. That sounds really sweet. What's been a, the biggest challenge, you think, about directing Antiquity? Communication. It's been very difficult to make sure everyone has all the information they need to succeed, and it has been very difficult for me to grapple with a lot of that, and yeah, it's hard. What are some of the other one acts that are going to be going on the same time as yours? There is Alice, which is a play version of Alice in Wonderland, and Black Comedy, which is a farce about just a lot of things happening in an art studio. That's great. And when can we see all of these great plays? You can watch all of us on the 12th, 13th, and 14th of April. Make sure you check it out. Back to you in the studio now. Thank you for the interview, Xander. Be sure to check out the One Acts next weekend, everyone. On April 8th, at 2 p.m., the sky will begin to darken. At 326, the sun will be completely invisible. What is this event? It's an astrological phenomena. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, completely blocking the face of the sun, making the sky as dark as it would be if it were night. The last time a total solar eclipse could be seen from Vermont was in 1932. Each geographical location on the planet only sees a few minutes of total solar eclipse once every 375 years. The next time there will be a similar event is in 2079. This is a once in a lifetime event, so don your eclipse glasses and get ready. And suddenly, Frankie with a bit on eclipse safety. Hi, I'm Frankie and welcome to your special CVU Celestial Report. As most of you probably know by now, this Monday, the 8th of April, Vermont will be experiencing a once-in-a-lifetime solar eclipse. We have the luck of being directly in the path of totality to experience the eclipse. Solar eclipses have a long history. They trace their origins to when the moon was created. Since then, they have happened occasionally, and sometimes people even see them. Because, you know, the sun goes dark and everything, eclipses have long captured the imaginations of humans. They have been worshipped as omens, signs of deities, and have been at the heart of many rituals throughout time. In fiction specifically, there are many examples of solar eclipses. TV seems to love the concept, and many TV shows have a special eclipse episode, often where the event causes changes or magical events to occur. This happens in everything from Avatar The Last Airbender, CSI Miami, Sailor Moon, and basically everything else. 
So in preparation for this solar eclipse, make sure you have your eclipse glasses ready, as even though the sun is blocked, the UV radiation can still be harmful to the eye. Also, in the weeks following, if you discover any carnivorous plants capable of speech, please phone your dentist. That's all from me. Back to you in the studio. On Saturday, the CVU Scholars Bowl team is going to States. For more on that, here's our correspondent Harleen with the team coach, John Bennett. Hi CVU, I'm Harleen and I'm here with Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett, this is your 30th year coaching the Scholars Bowl. What can you tell us about the Scholars Bowl? Well, that is true. I started in Scholars Bowl in 1984 as a player my senior year. Um, and then after I started teaching in Southern Vermont, Mount Anthony Union High School, I became uh, a Scholars Bowl coach with that program from 1995 to 2001. And I've been here doing Scholars Bowl since 2001. And what is Scholars Bowl? It's a game of quick recall played by teams using a buzzer system, uh, sort of like Team Jeopardy, I think you would describe. We, the, the content of the questions is, again, based on quick recall, how fast you can remember an answer. And we deal with most of the main core areas of science, math, humanities, um, social sciences, but some, you know, what they call pop culture trivia too, a little bit of that in there as well. So what's going on this Saturday? Well, this Saturday is the final round of the state playoffs in Montpelier. We've had a very successful season so far where our record is 43-0. and zero, uh, And we've already won the other three major tournaments of the year. And so this is a chance to sort of cap it off with the most important tournament champion in the state uh, championship playoffs, which we last won in 2002 and previously won in 2007. And if we could win our four playoff games, on Saturday, we will win the state championship. Um, we even have the, it's a double elimination for us, so if we lost one, we'd have a chance to win a rematch if that happened, but I'm hoping it doesn't. Um, and that's for our varsity team. And our JV team also is in the same situation. If they win their four playoff games, they are the top seed to win the JV state championship, which I believe will be the eighth time in the last 11 years that we've won that. Um, so we've been really successful this season. We have a great group of students who come in C3 and sometimes after school and sometimes we have practices at night like we're doing this week since we don't have our normal C3s. And really hard working students, several of whom have been scholars both three or four years um, with a lot of experience. And you know, the teams we play are very tough. We play the same teams that uh, our athletic teams play, you know, Essex and, and uh, South Burlington, Burlington, our Vermont rivals. We also play a very good team from Hanover New Hampshire, which is very tough too, um, and that's how we'll be facing. And you know, what's at stake if we win the state championship? Big if, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, uh, that uh, we would be qualified for nationals, and we would go to Atlanta, Georgia, and play in nationals, which we have done a few times in recent recent years. That's really impressive and cool. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the interview, Mr. Bennett, and good luck to the team. The Wednesday after the eclipse, there is no school for Eid al-Fitr. Eid is a Muslim celebration that marks the end of Ramadan. Thank you for watching this special eclipse episode. If you want to share any eclipse pictures, please send them to the CVU show at cvsdvt.org. Enjoy the eclipse and don't forget your glasses. There was this It got very dark And there was this strange humming sound Like something from another world 